Right, we're going to step into the future of ESCs a little bit today and um, we're going to look at this rather unassuming blue cardboard box which is, as you can see, the FETEC ESC and it's 4-in-1 6S 35 amp and if you've been following the birth of FETEC you'll know that the guy who or one of the guys who started the new company FETEC is the major player behind the KISS firmware and he started up his own company with a few friends and this is the first product from them so basically what we've got is a 20 by 20 4 in 1 ESC rated up to 6S it's got 40 volt MOSFETs and it's 128 kilohertz motor PWM and this is capable of up to D-Shot 2400 so if we look at the basic tech for a second and then we'll, f we'll talk about why it's exciting so as you can see everything looks pretty straightforward it's a nice compact little board and it comes with a little bag of stuff so you get a capacitor a wiring harness and also these little metal spacers which can basically just sit in here and this guy is using M2 mounting but if you want to use M3 it literally says you can just bore out these holes um, and it's designed to do that from a design perspective the first thing I dislike is the battery pads are really small so this is 14 gauge and as you can see it's going to be pretty tricky to solder not impossible but it would have been nicer if these pads were bigger what is nice is if you look at the board very carefully you'll see it's got these little holes so you've got one here and you've got another set on each corner and these holes are basically to mount capacitors easy should you wish to do so and the one it comes with is basically a 330 UF 50 volt capacitor and they recommend you use this if you fly and use 6S but it's kind of a nice feature that it's really easy to um, to mount your capacitors and then obviously bend them over um, without sort of bodging them onto the battery pads which are obviously very small now where it gets interesting is this guy obviously previously worked for KISS he still has a contract with KISS and I was imagining he was going to start releasing rival products but because he's got a contract, contract with KISS what it appears to be is that he's going to be doing the electronic hardware for KISS because there's a 20 by 20 flight controller floating around which has a KISS logo on it which is also designed by FETEC so we'll have to see what happens in the future but this guy's got a couple of novel features the first is if you fly KISS it will connect to a KISS board with one wire using the one wire protocol which isn't one wire so essentially you would have your battery wires obviously connected as normal and then you would have a ground wire and the signal wire and it would connect to the pad mark 6 on the KISS ESC so one wire would connect to the uh, pad mark 6 and the other one would is a ground wire which connects there and that is all the connections you need so essentially taking this aside you've got a ground wire and one signal wire which is giving you everything telemetry 
obviously running all your four ACs etc and if you like clean builds or you like tight builds that's really really exciting um, you'll need to update to the latest uh, KISS configurator and KISS firmware to get access to that. Now where it gets really more exciting is this is the first ESC or the first ESC in our hobby that I'm aware of that uses CineWave. And what CineWave does is generally what happens when you're flying is when you're using the throttle the FETs will simply be turned on and off controlling the throttle inputs so they tend to sort of work in a jerky fashion there isn't a sort of midway point or anything like that they're either on or off so if you imagine a graph with your signal input uh, inputs they would kind of almost look like stairs and what it essentially does is it allows them not just to turn up the FET on and off but to change the power which is applied um, so essentially instead of getting a jagged edge to your throttle you will essentially get much smoother lines and what that should transfer into is a much smoother throttle and a much smoother flying quad and it's the FETs turning on and off which give brushless motors that whine so it'll be interesting to see if we notice a change in the noise or the pitch of the motors when we're actually flying so it's going to be interesting to see where this goes I mean, at the moment, we've just got this one product. As I've said, I've seen um, a flight controller uh, 20 by 20 with the KISS branding on it. Um, Impulse look like they've also made a 20 by 20 PDB, which looks like it's got an OSD on it um, for the soon to be released Impulse Apex. So it looks like very soon, if you're into KISS, you will have a really neat 20 by 20 system. And if you're running beta flight, you can still obviously use this ESC. The other thing with this ESC is it comes with its own firmware, or should I say its own configurator, which allows finally um, KISS pass through. So like with beta flight, you can connect to BL Heli S, etc., BL Heli 32. In KISS configurator, you'll be able to do exactly the same with the configurator for this guy and the config configurator itself is quite clever so not only will it have the standard ESC functions but it'll also allow you to test your telemetry and things like that you can configure uh, the current sensing for the ESCs etc um, which are obviously all built into each single ESC so it should be moving forward a really good system and there's already been a few updates to the firmware for this guy since I received it um, Flight 1 had some issues um, which could cause damage with this ESC but they've been fixed and because it's current limited to 35 volts um, or should I say 35 amps as KISS um, hardware usually is what they've done in the latest firmware update is make it so the ESC isn't sort of stopping your power bang on 35 amps it's allowing you to briefly burst over it like you would do in normal flight um, and as I said, all these MOSFETs are, are um, rated for 40 volts, so it should be sufficient for the majority of quads. So in terms of what I'm going to do with it, I was planning to immediately stick it on a quad, but given in the not too distant future, we're likely to see a KISS 24, uh, sorry, a KISS 20 by 20 board and possibly the, um, the Impulse RC Apex PDB with hopefully an OSD. I think I'm going to sit on mine for a little bit and see what happens before immediately sticking it at a build and then having to rebuild it again. Um, but equally, you know what I'm like. Um, I might get uh, itchy feet and stick it in something. So yeah, really, really impressed with what they're doing. And it's a sign of things to come, exciting things to come. Um, because BL Heli 32 for me has been relatively non-existent we had some sort of fancy features which i don't often use um, but in terms of pure flight performance minor at best um, and i'm hoping this guy is the future of what we've got to look forward to they're also going to be releasing bigger 30 by 30 boards as well so yeah if you're a kiss pilot exciting times ahead 
if you're a beta flight pilot then of course I'm sure all this sort of stuff will be on beta flight pretty sharpish um, and obviously you can use the board perfectly fine at the moment as long as you're using the very latest um, daily releases um, to connect to the configurator but you just won't have the one wire tech just yet so yeah pretty excited about this guy thanks for watching cheers bye bye